Just give me a Welcome day. back to Wood Literature. If what? you're confused because there is a creature in the room. Everybody, welcome our um, producer <laughs> and director of the podcast, Artemis. Woo! If you're um, n- what if you're not watching, sorry for our, uh, holy shit. It's been two seconds of me talking, and it's yeah, not coming it's out. Okay, it's okay. To all our audio listeners, um, Michelle got the cutest puppy in the whole world. Her name is Artemis, um, and this is her first time in studio. Welcome so she's to the just show. Kind of sniffing around. She did come in here the other day and took a shit on the floor. Oh, so no, that's her only experience in the studio. So she's like. If you hear a lot of like little footy steps, which I, you probably won't because she's not. I mean, she has huge feet. She does have some feet. Um, Stop chewing on that. She is a Doberman, so she's gonna get ginormous. But that's okay. We love. We love. She's got her floppy ears. She's just adorable. She's so. so anyways, cute. if you hear us randomly go, oh my god, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's because Artemis, Artemis did something. Yeah. And if you're not watching, you're missing out. She's so cute and floopy right now. She, her feet are huge. Her head is small. Um, her ambitions there. are all. Ginormous oh, yeah. to the moon, yeah. yeah. Oh, which Artemis is the goddess of the moon? Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> she's, she's out. Right out. <laughs> she's out. Peace out. She's gone. <laughs> Anyways, so with that being said, um, this I'm is, turned on. I'm also turned on. That's really weird because we're about to talk about old creepy ladies, <laughs> and I love that for us because we have to be turned on when we talk about old creepy ladies. We do. We do. Um, should we potentially roll that intro? Yeah. Roll the clip. This is literature, bitch. I think they're turned on right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome back to the show. My name is Rose. I'm Michelle. And uh, this is Lude Literature, where we pick a book and we either talk shit about it or we rave about it. Um, I am really excited for this week's episode. Me too. Because I'm going to tell you why, and you're oh, going to please. You're going to be. <gasps> I didn't like a single thing about this book at all. And you really enjoyed it. I loved this so book. So I'm excited to hear, like, I, I'm excited to hear what you liked about it. Okay. I'm excited to hear. Well, I think I already know what you don't like about it. There's quite a few things. So Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I ate this book up. I really enjoyed it. When you recommended it to me, I was really excited and then severely massively disappointed very but you know quickly. what's really interesting is i've been on a streak of giving you very obscure books really weird really out there and they're either a hit or a miss yeah like because you got me and my whole salon listening to uh the girl across the lake the house the house the across the lake it was a smash hit we smash. all loved it and you know what that was weird and kooky i could yeah. see a lot of people not liking it yeah so it's kind of like i've been like being like mm, okay here's a here's here's a book mm-hmm. and yeah it's either been a hit or it's been a miss so before we get into this two things first of all your nails look amazing did you do those i did they look really fucking good let me see thanks Oh my god, I love this color. You're getting really good. Well, yeah. No, those look really good. I actually really did good. these ones in a rush. These aren't my best work. Oh my god, they look amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. I thought they were a salon. Um, and then the Thanks. second thing was, real quick, did you see the lady on the plane? That man back oh, there yeah, is yeah, not yeah. real. Yeah. Spooky. But do you, honestly, do you, you think she was, there. yeah. No, do you think she was like <laughs> being delusional or do you think she saw like a lizard man? I think she was on drugs mm. and she saw someone who was maybe listening to a really obscure audiobook. Because I look weird in the gym. I'm like this. <laughs> because like the most fucked up shit is going on in my yeah. headphones. And I'm like, I'm bench press. <laughs> I'm bench pressing to a girl fucking a dude and then eating him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no, yeah. And 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 everybody around I'm me. I'm so excited to talk I know, about me that too. Book. I'm really excited too. And I just got to the eating part. <laughs> but anyways, like how the book reads, like I'm sitting there and I'm like, it's all, okay. This is a story Different for book, another yeah. time. But um, I also listened to The Vessel at um, the gym. At the gym. And uh, the ending when it gets like really intense, I was like, I didn't, wasn't even counting my reps. <laughs> like, I, I was just going coming, and I was like. Though. Totally saw it coming. No, me too. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> anyway. 
Anyways, if you're confused, the book that we are reviewing this week is called The Vessel. And the author is Adam Neville. Yeah. Neville? It's probably Neville, Neville, but N-E-V-I-L-L. Yeah. Neville. Neville. Um, I will read the thingy. Please do. Struggling with money, raising a child alone, and fleeing a volatile ex- Jess McMacken accepts a job caring for an elderly patient, Flo Gardner, a disturbed shut-in in in, and invalid. A disturbed shut-in and invalid. Invalid. Thank you. Invalid. (laughs) But if Jess can hold this job down, she and her daughter, Izzy, can begin a new life. Flo's vast home, Nerthus House, may resemble a stately victim. Vicarage, Vicarage, holy shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're doing Vicarage. a good job. These are tough words. These are tough and words. An idyllic, idyllic village. My God. Listen, I know how to read. <laughs> She's like, on. I hated this book. Couldn't read a single word. <laughs> You're like, I actually, it's because you couldn't understand the words. They were too big. <laughs> You're like, what are they talking about? <laughs> yeah. But the labyrinthine interior is a dark, cluttered warden filled with pagan artifacts. And Nerthus House lives in the shadow of a malevolent secret, a sinister malevolent, enigma. Malevolent? Oh, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> a sinister enigma <laughs> determined to reveal itself to Jess and to drive her to the end of her tether. Not only is she stricken by the malign manipulation of the vicarage's bleak past, but Marcelo Flo is soon <laughs> casting a <laughs> influence over young Izzy. What appeared to be a routine job soon becomes a battle for Jess's sanity and the control of her child. It's as if an ancient ritual was triggered when Jess crossed the thr- threshold of the vicarage, a rite leading her and Izzy to a terrifying critical mass where all will be lost or saved. Wow. That was tough. Okay, first of all, like straight off the bat, why the fuck did you have to put all those words in? Speak like a normal human. <laughs> well, they're British. They're British. Oh, uh, that explains a lot. I love British television. Don't like a lot of their words. <laughs> yeah, it's confusing. Um, so there's 27% five star, 39% four star. It was pretty solidly and 25% four star. three star. Yeah. I, I think the ratings are fair. I, I, w- a, I was like, yeah, sure. I gave it a two. <gasps> I gave it a four. Th- but this is what I mean. Like, it's going to be good because we're very like opposite scales. So how about you explain to me what the fuck was even going on in this book? So I don't think you want, I don't think you got it. The girls who get it, get it. And you weren't one of the girls. I did not like at all the way this book was written. Like not even a smidgen. I couldn't tell where the fuck they were at any given point in time. Like the the book like jumps around as to where she is in the house and then suddenly she's sleeping and then suddenly she's awake Sometimes she's upstairs. Sometimes she's downstairs. I could not understand this weird fucking hole in the wall. This weird crawl space hallway the author kept explaining. But it was somehow in the living room. But it was cluttered with boxes. But like you could fit a body in it. But you could crawl in it. But you could also stand in it. But it was a crawl space. I could not for the life of me picture what the (laughs) hell this like author was trying to explain. Right. Couldn't picture the house at all. Couldn't picture actually anything i love how you're like how about you start and then you're like, you know what? like never mind let me tell you what me, i fucking hated about it the no, writing I, of I this agree. book was awful i i didn't see this is a thing i didn't hate the writing but i also can see where you would get confused yeah there was a few times where i was like wait where are we yeah for sure um i pictured the like hole in the thing was it was like a bunch of boxes and shit piled in the dining room, and you crawled under the table. Because this said Alice the in table. Wonderland, but like it wasn't like you're going. But to then at spot. one point, just... he, she drags the body on a carpet into that space. Yeah, you're not crawling under a table, dragging a carpet with a body. On I it. pictured it to be quite small. But but then she's dragging herself and a carpet with a dead body. In I it. could do it. It just didn't Give make sense. Give me a two-by-two two old Artemis. Don't bite my cooter, please. No, but you know what I mean. Like, it didn't make No, sense. I get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was a bit Like, every time the, the dis- author wrote about of, yeah. it, it was, like, a different space. Yeah. 
I also didn't understand like a lot of the time when the woman was like exploring the house and like finding things. Mm. I wasn't understanding like why she was like she had no reason to be going through this woman's stuff. Like there was no calling to her or there's like I don't know. You're telling me you're you're taking care of an old fucking lady who has weird memorabilia and you're not going through her shit? I don't know. And then she started finding like obvious ritualistic pagan shit. She found a man's balls in a napkin and she's like, huh, <laughs> I'm just going to put that back. But you know what? Okay. Listen though. Listen, I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but you're telling me you're going to somebody's house. You go and see some weird shit hanging up on the wall. You're not going to be like, hmm, strange. And then walk away. I well like I remember like, at granted, one point to she me, was looking at like, photos, but then I was like, where? Like I feel like it. She was just all of a sudden looking at photos. I was like, are these on the wall? Are these they're in, a in the book? drawer? Oh okay. I literally Did we like to the same? <laughs> I everything was quite clear to me, but I can see where you, it's a bit muddy in the sense of like, where are we right now? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It was just. Yeah. I, I, like, I was I confused know. on where the pond was in proximity to yes. the house. I was I'm assuming about was the pond, th- period. Yeah. Well, I kind of get it, but, like, the whole thing was very much, like, I love a girl power. I love, let's, like, kill our abusive husbands and throw them in the lake. Yeah. I, or the pond. I love that kind of vibe. Um, that is my shit, <laughs> But then honest. what was with the sun? Like why was the I sun think it was just there? the sun was like more on like the not the dad side but like he was treated differently than the women. So you know like if you have you don't have brothers, do you? Just no. sisters. Yeah. So like in my Barely. experience, like I've had different treatment. Like my brothers see a different side of my dad compared to like how I see him, mm-hmm. right? So I think it was just more of like having that different experience because he was abusive to the the woman and her <coughs> daughter. Oh my god, Artemis has something to say. I'm touching her foot. That's why. Am I playing with your toes? Um. So what happened to the sister? Was she still alive? She died, right? Yeah, the the daughter was dead. Did Flo's we Flo's daughter was dead? But did we find out why? Like, yeah, she killed happened? herself. Oh, okay, yeah, but she was like, I think like molested by the father or something. Oh. That's why she cut off his balls. Right. Okay. Yeah. See, like the parts like that made sense, and then it <laughs> also was like completely obvious when you find out she killed her husband that that's the route that's gonna go down. What was with Flo somehow helping the daughter possess a classroom. What I think was it was about? it was very like folklorish. So like she gave her a talisman, and then she used it when the kids were like bullying her, which then called the like birds and like the wind to go all crazy. Okay, and then that scared them. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like that whole scene was like, why was that even? I wish they kept going with that. If like yeah, I wish they I were thought... like, oh, now I'm gonna like beat the shit out of my classmates, and I'm gonna like leave dead things on their porch. Like I was hoping yeah. it would kind of go down like that route. I thought because we it didn't seem get... very cultish to me until the end, where I was yeah. like, yeah, fair enough. Uh, what I thought we were gonna get was Flo and the daughter. Like Flo is gonna totally possess her co- or something. Yeah, and like corrupt her or whatever. And then, like, why was Flo randomly floating? Because I think, same thing. It was trying to be folklore-ish without being super, like, without committing. It didn't fully commit to the folklore. If you were going to do folklore, commit. Yes. Because the half-assedness of it is really what kept taking me out of it, too. Yeah, because it was like, and the thing is, too, is we never found out about, like, our main character. I can't even fucking remember the girl's name. What was her name? The, the The main character. Oh, shit. I said it in the uh, description. Give me a second. She, like, never really... Jess. Jess never saw... Like, it was never, uh, uh, like, oh, she floats and is, like, a full-blown witch who floats around and does all this weird shit. Like, it was more of, like, kind of low-key. Yeah. And then the end... Because it almost seemed like the end, they just killed their husbands and threw them in the fucking lake rather than, yeah, like... Yeah, so, like, every... All the women on that street were part of the cult. My finger is in her ear. And she's, like, chewing my sweater. There we go. Is that from nice? Listen to her. 
That's so gross that you put your fingers in a dog's ears. Look at her eyes. She loves it. That's um, nasty. <laughs> I do it all day, every day. I know. That, that's nasty. Um... So everyone on the street was a part of the cult. Yeah. They were all women that had killed their husbands and thrown them in the same lake. That was the idea of it. I think I didn't get that. I don't think so. I think it was Flo's husband that they killed and threw them in the lake. But like they were all part of this like coven and then like they were taught by the lady who like she was always next to, the like kind of the matron. I thought that was Flo. No, their old Flo photos was the were little Flo girl. was the not not little girl, but younger woman next to the. So oh, she Flo okay. kind of took over the coven, Got it. and then now Jess is taking over the coven from Flo. Got so it's kind of like this, like that yeah, it's kind of like a, a cult that like keeps going, I guess. And then that's why they were all like, she got the job. Mm. And then that's when, like, at the end, after she kills her husband, like or ex husband or whatever, that like even her boss shows up and is like applauding her, and they're all like, "Yay, you did it! You killed them!" You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, like they were all leader. in it. Because they're all like, you have to. It was giving kind of midsummer to me, where it was like, "Oh, you finally did it! Now you're like the cult leader, pretty much." Yeah. So you know? they were all waiting for her they're, to do to kill that. him. So the whole job and the whole like getting there and doing all this stuff was all to like. That's why Flo was when she kind of like went off and like attacked Jess a few times, she would say things that her ex was had already said to her. Like you to try and trigger her. Yeah, she you never should have been a mother and blah 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 like all those things, remember? Yeah, I do remember that. So And it would trigger her. So she, was she just trying to make her angry or yeah. So that when the husband did finally come around she'd have like all this rage to let go of? I think so and I think it was kind of like like I would even push the idea that Flo, when she was crawling around the house and doing all this weird shit, like, she was putting these, like, the talismans kind of around, or she was, like, mm. making all these weird things happen, because they, they, it was, she, they were trying to push her into, um, killing him. Because I also didn't understand, like, what was even going on when Flo was in the garden and stuff, like, well, and I like, also think a of whole a of point scenes? of it of like their cult is that they worship that like God or whatever that was in the pond and they the God oh, was I was gonna say what was in the pond I think it was like a spirit a demon or something they never really fully explained it I wish like there was more in the book of like all the women coming together and like explaining a bunch of shit because yeah. there was a lot of like things left unsaid like the photographs yeah. and like the um. I just, that's what I didn't like about it. Like, if you're going to tell a story, give me a full picture. Like, See, why I really liked it is I love feeling really fucking lost and confused. I hate and it. And then at the end being like, wow, this makes, like, I felt like I was but it, in Jess's <sighs> shoes for, like, the whole book. Because okay. I was like, I'm fucking confused and I'm a little bit scared. There are times like that where I do agree, like the last house on Needless Street did it really well, mm -hmm. but it also wrapped everything up in a it pretty did. bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was very much like, take what you will, but it was also like, here's some crumbs. It was like the author couldn't decide what they wanted to write about. I kept feeling like I was only reading parts <laughs> of a story. And there's just, like, I understand talking, like, okay, let me, <laughs> let me try and finish a sentence. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. Let me commit. I understand what the book was about, how it was a cult, and, you know, it, like, I, I saw where the story was going. Right. I just felt like there was not only so much left unsaid, but so much unnecessary things. Oh, Artemis has an <laughs> argument to make. <laughs> And I, just, I feel I like, like, actually, you're wrong. <laughs> I feel like someone, another author that I enjoy could have wrote it better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I just, I. Yeah. I, I, I'm not familiar with, like, his works. Yeah. And I don't know if, like, maybe this was, like, a debut. It did read, like, a debut novel that was, like, good. Like, I liked it. It had really great potential. Could have been better. 
Yeah. Like, you could write something fantastic. Yeah. You just need to sk- stick to the script. I guess I also should have stated I listened to the audiobook. So did I didn't I. read it. So I feel like maybe if I read it, I it reads liked the audiobook narrator, though. Mm hmm. I like the narrator. I like that it was very British. I was in the British vibes. I was like, chip, chip, cheerio. <laughs> chip, chip, cheerio. Chip, 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 chip. I will say I'm far more excited to talk about the books, the two books that we're like listening and reading right now. Yeah. As I was listening to The Vessel, I just remember thinking, I don't have anything nice to say about this book. I loved it. I would like to see it as a movie. I think it would be a really great movie. If I they do did too. sort of Midsummer vibes. Yes. And they kind of had like that whole like a little bit more explanation. Maybe yeah. they used other um visual actors. even if they used visuals to make things make more sense. Cause I like movies where things are confusing the first time you watch them and then everything makes sense at the end. And then when you watch it a second time, all the answers were like right in front of your face the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we already said our ratings. You gave it a four. I honestly give it a two. I just That's wasn't crazy. that interested in it. Yeah. So like I said, some of the weird obscure books I'm recommending are hits. Some of them are flops. I think they're all hits. But to be fair, as I've said before, and I've mentioned this many, many times, um, the bar is on the floor for me. I love everything. Yeah. Literally my – see – I'm becoming like more cunty with my reviews. <laughs> I, I can tell. Do you like um, more folklore I like folklore when the folklore is explained. This was like, mm. you already need to know what this folklore is to understand and enjoy it. Because if you're going to give me folklore, give me like a Pan's Labyrinth where the folklore is explained mm. while you're watching the movie. You can enjoy that because, oh, now you know, like, where that spirit is coming from. If you're giving me a little bit of history behind yeah. the demon or the spirit. Back. Yeah, for sure. Like, <sighs> I think we could have, you know what? I This is, see, Adam, listen up. <laughs> if I were writing this book, I would have put in little chapters where you're reading from her diary. I would have given, like, find Flo's diary. Yes. And read some pages from the diary. Yes. And that's because the only thing, explanation we got about, like, Flo and her daughter, Charlotte, was that the neighbor said, oh, yeah, she killed herself because she was being, like, molested by the dad or whatever. Or abused yeah. By and, you know, she took a bunch of pills and, you know, they yeah. were suicide, blah, 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 whatever. So, like... There was a bit of explanation, but it was kind of at the end, and it was like, and that's when you were like, oh, my God, like, T, because she even but called the also, son, and the son was like, don't actually call me, <laughs> and you're like, yeah. okay, that was useless. Yeah, like, why was that character even written in? Like, in my yeah. opinion, he was completely pointless. He didn't actually add to the story. I didn't make <laughs> it feel like, oh, the men... Something about men. Like, I, I felt nothing towards that character or what he did maybe or did Maybe it's because it was written by a man. The, honestly, as soon as I saw the author, I was like, maybe that's why I didn't like it. Um, also, with a name like The Vessel and the photo of the cover being like this possessed I thought it was more. Woman, it was going to be more demon lady. I thought it was going to be a possession. I yeah. thought this I thought this old woman was going to possess the daughter. I thought that, that would have been way you more You know better. what? One of my favorite book talkers recommended this book, and he even... Oh, my God, Artemis, please. <laughs> he made it seem like... The old woman possessed the daughter. Yeah. And I was a little bit confused when I was listening to it because I was like, where's the possession? But now I'm also confused because like, okay, is this woman now... So now this woman who knows nothing about this cult is the leader of a cult. So is her daughter also in the cult? They know nothing about the cult. Like, how are you going to have a leader of a cult that knows nothing about the cult? So is the old lady... I point, though. It's kind of like Midsommar. She knew I never about- saw Midsommar. I'm not allowed to watch it without Leo. They said they'd kill me oh if I watch God. it without Leo. Well, tell them to come over. And we can all watch I've it. I've seen it I know three I'm gonna, times. I know I'm going to love it. You'll hate it. No, you'll hate it the first time. Oh, really? Oh, you'll, uh, oh I hated it the first time. I, well, I, I finished it, and I went, I really don't know how to feel. Oh, okay. And then it's I watched it a second time, and I was like, Okay, but wow. I am way more like a weird movie junkie than I am a weird book junkie. 
Like the way did you, you feel? Did you watch Hereditary? Yes. Did you like Loved it? Loved it. Oh, see, I didn't like Hereditary. So, okay. When I, <laughs> this is, this is the exact same feeling. When I finished watching Hereditary, I literally felt physically ill. Mm. Like I felt sick in the head. <laughs> like I, I put myself so much into a movie. Mm. I become the camera. Like I am in yeah, the you're movie. there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I transport. Um, so when I was done watching that movie, I felt like I needed to take a shower, but I was too scared to get in such shower. Right, right. I felt messed up in the head. I was yeah. like, woof. And then when you come down from it, I was like, wow, that was so well done. See, we watched it. And then I think Dave and I watched it. I watched it for a second time in the plane. Ooh, and we were not like, a fun place and to Dave watch and I it. Both were like, I don't know if I like that. And the first time I watched it, I was just kind of like. I don't know, it didn't resonate with my spirit. Midsommar, okay. kill, kill your shitty ex-boyfriend in a bear suit in the Hello? fire. I'm Spoilers. <laughs> you already know that, though. No, I know nothing about the movie. You haven't seen a single clip? No, none. Oh, she doesn't burn her, her boyfriend. I, <laughs> I know nothing. That doesn't happen, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, that it, it's a weird movie though. It's similar to yeah. Hereditary in the sense where you're like I I've been don't dying to, to see it because I love weird artistic movies. I just I don't know. I just do. Have you seen the Please I'm a star? Yeah. Have you seen the movie? What? Like the movie Pearl? that that clip is yeah, from. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, I loved that movie. Oh, me too. So good. So good. <laughs> Did you know that it's a prequel to the movie that they made first? They made a movie where she's a porn star. And this movie, they started filming after that movie. And this is the prequel to how she became a porn movie actress. She's actually a porn star? Like in the movie. Oh, what movie? I can't remember. It's called Triple X or something. Like mm. something obvious. Yeah. Interesting. But same like weird, obscure sort of movie. Anyway, we should probably get back, back to the this. book. So I'm going to go through some reviews. Please. So this one's a three star, which is right in between our reviews. Uh, spoilers below and they are tagged. Who cares? <laughs> Lots of creepy moments in the vessel with Adam Neville's new book. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing New book. That. It's not a debut. Um, he can write folk horror really well. <laughs> The ending was a bit too quick for me, and I had questions for the motivations of a few characters at the end. You mean, okay. like, all of them? Work. No, no, no. That's fair. <laughs> shut up. Oh, my God. Uh, <gasps> okay. I will shut up. I will say nothing other than read this person's review. Okay. It just felt too cookie-cutter clean for me in regards to Sheila and Morig's involvement with Flo's pagan practice at Nerthus House. Mm. How did they pick Jess as the catalyst for Flo's death and rebirth of her skills? Mm. Was her involvement with Tony and that was it her involvement with Tony and that was in her employment file? Question mark? Yeah. Did they need a male sacrifice to keep the pond and meadow living? And Tony was a good choice and she's a piece of shit. That's what I thought it was. It seems that the vessel was written more like a screenplay and less like a novel from what Neville mentions in the story notes. Maybe I prefer his novels, question mark. If this would have been a bit longer, like cunning folk and had the tension and unease built more, it would have had more of an emotional reaction to it and slept worse with jacked up dreams, as I should when I read a Neville book. Haha. Mm. I still like the vessel, just not as much as his previous books, in my opinion. I definitely wanted more that's a good a review it is that's a that actually puts what we're both saying like perfectly, perfectly. yes because yeah i very much screenplay vibes yes like i i did feel like it was missing something some things were really confusing i just kind of like i just sum it up like oh they just knew thing and i instantly went to oh the like pond monster needs a fucking sacrifice that's what i thought i wasn't like i honestly i think i was so hellbent on not enjoying the writing style that i stopped even paying attention mm -hmm. to what the point was because everything felt so pointless at least we can admit our faults <laughs> i appreciate that about you thanks <laughs> but i think don't do it again <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I think if it was like if you're going to save everything till the end for a big reveal 
at least give me something to like I I can't even explain. Yeah, it could have been had like I thought it had some good zhuzh, but like it could have had like a, a more zhuzh. Yeah. Yeah. Like I wanted to be shocked and appalled. And I yeah. was just a little bit shocked. And I also if you're going to save everything for the end, I needed every like I needed to be clear. Yeah, I need the that's the house on Needless Street cuz you're yes. reading it and you're going mm, you're losing me and, and then I, and I get what you're saying with the like main characters confused so you as the reader are confused I usually enjoy that yeah I but, uh, but we are still confused at the end yeah oh okay hi okay we're falling now all right um I will <laughs> read a five star oh that is in Spanish I will not read that Magusta. here's a four star review the ending really took me out did not see that coming this is my second read and the and the first I DNF? Oh, the first book I DNF. I'm glad I gave him another chance because this was really good. The atmosphere is incredibly creepy and descriptions of flow in the night scene scared the shit out of me. This would make a fantastic movie. It's very movie vibes. It is very movie vibes. I mean, I thought, like, I wish he went more the creepy route because I did like how he described, like, creepy moments. Did they make <laughs> sense? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> someone just rated it a four star and the only comment is old people just be like that sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you know work work sorry they do be like they that do some. be like that they be like when they Bro, s- look at you so you go, my Whoop. mom has my grandma on a baby monitor because she'd be losing it yeah and my mom is her primary caregiver my grandma lives in our house they literally had to cut a window into her door because she's going kooky bananas <laughs> Um, she's not allowed to get out of her bed. Like she thinks people visit her in the night. Yeah. All sorts yeah. of things. I love so, that. For her. But like in a not fun way. You yeah. Know? Like I that sucks, grandma, but like she's just having waking dreams, I think. Bring the go- <laughs> Right. can't she write them down i want to no, hear stories right? so my mom has a baby monitor up and it's black and white super creepy night vision Ugh, the and worst. it's just sitting there and my i was over at my parents house the other day and she's just staring at the camera no! I would and it is just night pants. vision she looks like a cat like yeah. you know when you you know when their eyes are glowy she's and just she's just like staring at it and creepy little baby monitor camera not blinking she doesn't speak really how do you she just is there any signs of dying <laughs> is she going anytime she's soon or she's late <laughs> 90s she's had two <laughs> hip surgeries both times my mom put do not resuscitate and both times they went you know it's like less- she's just kicking it and be- you know what maybe and she's she doing says, that on purpose no she says all the time i just want to die she's been no saying i get it that for but the you last know what i mean like years. if i'm about to like if i'm close to kicking the bucket i'm scared and i live with my kids i'm scaring the shit out of them <laughs> i'm looking on pre- and i'm gonna whisper like he's coming for you like i would, I would and she's god fearing like she yeah. is like oh yeah I yeah. remember when Here I lived the in devil. the basement, all you could hear her gospel music on blast. Like I was at a rave wow. and it was just children. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> so me Middle has, of the night. Middle of the night. Big, she has children gospel music and she's staring in the camera like this. She has even, That's no, cunt. she doesn't even keep like TV and music and stuff on now. It's just silence. Ugh. She just sits in silence. Just kill me. Literally put fentanyl. Ooh. In my food, <laughs> take me out. Slowly poison me with rat poisoning. Um, <sighs> that's just that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> See, <sighs> listen. If my kid slowly killed me, it would be it would be fine. I'd be like, listen, how would you know? How would I know? I know my meds thing so much, right? Oh, my meds that's again? Tough. Oh, that's I thought I took my meds an hour ago, but I also think today is yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, just keep them coming. Give me the whole bottle. Listen, <laughs> if you are an old person, you're li- listening to this. We like you a little bit, but like if you are someone who lives with an elderly person, you're like this is insensitive. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm really terrible at making it. This is why I could never do an apology video. Yeah. I'd be like, no, yeah. When I said, <laughs> we'd be like, fuck them grandmas, <laughs> feed them rat poison. What I really meant was work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What no. I really Don't meant kill was... old people. It's illegal. It's illegal. This is disclaimer. Lou literature does not provoke. <laughs> 
come out <laughs> killing, killing her grandmas. Yeah, no, grandmas no. shall die naturally. No, I'm not the saying the good Lord will take her. When I'm not she's saying ready. kill your grandmas. I'm saying it when I'm a grandma and I'm so delusional. <laughs> Listen, the thing is, I and I have told my husband this: if I ever like get into a major accident and become some sort of brain dead or yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't move my limbs anymore, I'm just blink twice if yes, once if no. Right. Literally do not resuscitate like i do not want to be alive mm. if i'm not living what if i came over every day and i just scrolled through tiktok for you i you should show your grandma like a really weird tiktok <laughs> compilation <laughs> that would do it that would do it that's like give her a mcdonald's sprite and let her watch a tiktok compilation she'll be toast in like 15 minutes tops <laughs> I tell you, the McDonald's spray. <laughs> it, it'll kill her. No, she'd be dead. Oh, hundred percent. Show her Elon Musk's I, oh. penis rocket <laughs> <laughs> blasting off into the atmosphere. No, no, no. <laughs> no a, re- a TikTok reaction to the penis rocket launching, and all they're no, saying. No, all is I have to do is show her a YouTube video. She'll yeah. lose it. Yeah, little men in the TV. What yeah, are you talking best about? of Vine. <laughs> Shavaka do. I got two free tacos. Stop. You almost made me drop my croissant. <laughs> Airy survival. Bro, I'm telling you. Listen, I'm not saying a church girl <laughs> who goes go to, church. to church and reads her Bible. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not saying do it, but when she does <laughs> kick the bucket because she that happened, I want to be invited to the funeral. <sighs> I just got so passionate about that topic. That's so funny. <laughs> anyway, speaking of baby monitors, real quick, um, I got a baby monitor for my dog, um, and because my bedroom's upstairs, and like, I'm have not you gonna... heard any weird shit? <sighs> See, no. But when I tell you, I set up that baby monitor, and I thought of every single horror movie, every single horror book oh, yeah. that had baby monitor shit. Oh, and yeah. I was like. So fucking scary. You flash right to the paranormal activities. Yeah. Yeah. It's scary. I mean, it's not video. It's just like, it's just audio, but um, still. Oh, no. Like, what if I hear someone whispering to my fucking dog? That's what you I was thinking. I'm home chills. alone. Home alone, upstairs, sleeping, sleeping in my room upstairs. All I hear is the fan going through the baby monitor. And uh, and I'm like, what if I hear someone talk? Like, I will kill myself. No, I, I jump out the window. Like, what I'd am I gonna going to do? Go check? What if, I'd be going. If there's someone there or there's someone not, I'm fucked either no. way. Yeah, absolutely. Terrifying. Artemis would just chew on their little fingers. Like, she's not doing much. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, like imagine if no one's there and you no, clearly yeah. hear talking. Yeah. Well, this is the other thing. So, like, back Ugh. in the day, people used to say that they could, like, hear ghosts or hear aliens or they would hear, like, these weird noises or whatever. Yeah. And then it turns out baby monitors can pick up on, like, people's Different cell phone pre- calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, could you imagine hearing some creepy ass shit? First of all, imagine it was picking up a phone conversation. This guy's talking about, like, killing his wife or something. What if it picks up through our microphones <laughs> and we're talking about killing grandmas? Oh, no. You know what? I used to actually have walkie-talkies, and I would flip flip through the channels, and I would pick up other people. I, yes. I had this whole conversation with some dude. Like, That's full nuts. convo. Like, talking. Like, we talked. And then I remember telling my mom. My mom was like, what the fuck? Anyways, I did a lot of weird shit. But, like... I'm at, you know, I should get a walkie-talkie. And I'm just going to flip through each channel and be like, the devil's coming for you. And then flip, <laughs> hoping that it just picks up on a baby monitor. <laughs> oh, my God. You're evil. <laughs> evil. That's a great idea. But isn't that just what they are, walkie-talkies? I don't know, actually. I, I guess I think they're so. walkie-talkies on the same I don't frequency. even understand how the internet works. I don't no, know how phones Don't work. ask me how we fucking yeah, laser radio thermometer waves. works. waves. Um, where? <laughs> where? <laughs> like, what are you what does that about? mean? And you're going to tell me radio waves in the room with us right now. <laughs> but they are. Me, and you're going to tell me vibrations aren't real. Like vibrational energy isn't real, but your fucking radio wave is. Give me a break. I can't see My microwave either. can cause cancer. But, Allegedly. But my spirit isn't vibrating right now. <laughs> <sighs> if we can pick up radio waves, could we listen to a rock? Well, rocks. Oh, a plant. Yes. Haven't you seen the plant? Yes, they sing. But like, 
You need a machine to pick up on those? Can yes. I get like a wireless Bluetooth? The, the rock has to be moving, preferably on the ground. It's <laughs> rock and roll. No, that was good. <laughs> that was good, Dave. You know what? I was really passionate about that topic, and now I don't even want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> That's fine, because we were talking about the vessel and how much it's... So I'm just kidding. Um, I think a three is a fair rating. I'm still giving it a two, because I just did I'm not fuck with the book. I'm still giving it a four, so we actually make up And I actually think that I might enjoy this book later on down the line when maybe I'm a bit older, and like maybe I would find it more eerie if I was a parent myself. Do you know it's what I mean? It's more of like... No, because I ate that shit up. Okay, here's a five-star review. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what the bitches first are saying. First five-star read. First of all, first this says, ever. first five-star read of 2023. They posted this on January 6th. <laughs> Maybe. You don't know. You don't know what they're going through. Maybe they're one of those 5,000 books a month type You're of You're right. This book's was fantastic. Yes, they put books. <laughs> Fast-paced, terrifying, and satisfying ending. 100% recommend this book. This is my third Adam book, and he does not disappoint. One of the best horror authors out there today. I love the notes after the story on how this was originally a screenplay that he turned into novel format, and it shows. Very much a cinematic experience. Okay, so, so this I miss all that making note. sense. That's because we did the um, audiobook. But usually they they read the notes after. Yeah, but maybe it was like one of the newer editions. That he added it because uh -huh. it said added a note. And I think the audio came out when the book first came out. Interesting. I don't know because I fin like it says finished. So maybe if I knew that it was a screenplay turned into a book, I would have had different expectations Because that makes for sense it. of like the location jumping. Yeah. Without like actually going there. And that's also where I feel like maybe as a book, it was formatted differently. Like listening to it, I don't feel like it was formatted properly for listening. Adam Neville, narrated by Bridget Thomas. Copyright 2022 by Adam L. G. Oh, this is end credits. Neville. Okay, I was saying it wrong. If you have enjoyed this audiobook, please leave a review on the platform of purchase. For more information about the author, visit www. We're not endorsing because you're not giving us money. Oh, that's it. Let me put my phone on your butt. No, there's nothing on audiobook. Hmm. I hate when that guy comes on. Me too. Who is he? Who is know. he? And it sounds like it was made in like... Oops. In uh, 2006. Yeah. He goes, I hope you've enjoyed this program. I'm like, yeah. oh, It literally stop. sounds like like the two, the, the 20th like the century VHS. Fox. Yes. Like, viewer discretion is advised. Exactly <laughs> like that. That's yeah, weird. Nuts. It yeah. actually transports me back in time. Yeah, same. I'm like, whoa, where am I? <laughs> yeah, <it's weird>. yeah. <laughs> Just like how I was when reading, listening to the book. Yeah. I wonder, though, if written format makes it easier to follow what does that because, mean like we listen to it so we can't visualize how it was written oh, sometimes like how, how written things are written on the page makes yeah. a huge difference like the dot 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 and you know you jumped somewhere yes yeah or like sometimes when you're listening to an audiobook but they're reading a text conversation you're like this doesn't translate the same as if you're looking at the speech bubbles i think of like i think it was this book where I was like, is this the end of the chapter? Like where, mm. where I don't think they had chapters either. Like it was just a pause yeah. and then she would start something else. So there was no like chapter 12. I'm like 99% sure they didn't do that because I was always really confused. And then I would look at my phone. I'd be like, oh my God, I'm on chapter like 12. Yeah. And I had no idea. Yeah. I think that's also what made it a bit confusing yeah. to listen to on audiobook. Cause yeah, it was a bit like jumpy, jumpy. Like, where are we? Where are we? Cause I always, it was always like, I want to see daddy <laughs> at the grocery store. And I'm yeah. like, hold on. What yeah. happened? You yeah. know what I mean? And then like, and then I would assume that we are done the chapter and that's how I could tell. And then I would look at my phone and I'd go, oh yeah, we just finished But the you know what this author did fan-fucking-tastically? I will give this author a very five star for this. Annoying kid. Making us hate the father. Yeah. Like, it in ways and where was, as an yeah. adult... You can hate him, but you can see from the child's perspective why she loved him. And that's the thing, too, is it's, like, I have friends who, like, have shitty, like, exes and shitty baby daddies where you're, like, 
you can see them work so hard to like be a good parent, co-parent with them. But then behind the scenes, they're like, fuck that guy. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, it was very much like you feel that like rage against him. Yeah. And I knew that like, I knew he was nuts and I knew that like he was abusive. Like you could kind of tell, like obviously you're just hinting at it, the scar on her lip, like all these yes. things, right? So like you knew that like he clearly knocked her the fuck out a long time ago. And I think like. It wasn't a long time ago though because it started No, she was a toddler. Again. When she got, because remember she was a baby screaming in the kitchen. You don't remember that, eh? Oh no, you're right. When, when the did first, it start but she kept, she again. would pick at it. Oh, that was the problem. So that's it. why it was such a bad like scar. But then what's like, um, what was really good that I thought he did really good, like in a horror sense, is like that fear of trying to get away from somebody yes. and them stalking you and always finding these things out. Yeah. Like it was very, and, and setting boundaries like where she yes. was like, no, you can't go with him. No, you can't stay with him. And the daughter he can't give you a ride. Not listening. Yeah, and, but like and as not, a kid, you don't think that, right? Yes. I had literal, I'm pretty sure I texted you a whole thing about the stupid fucking kid. I would, the way I would slap this fucking kid upside yeah. the head, which obviously I would never do. Sure. But. <laughs> you'd kill grandma with a McDonald's, right? But you wouldn't smack a kid i don't fucking believe you <laughs> the author did a fantastic job at instilling dread yes with that relationship that's why when he showed up and he was like ah, i'm gonna kill everybody blah, 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 like he was gonna do like a triple homicide yeah you know suicide yeah i was like that didn't surprise me but i was like oh here it comes right yeah and then when she like did kill him and let out all that rage that's where i was like yeah baby fucking yeah. guy up and then the other bitch shows up and she's like, finally. And then yeah. takes him into the fucking hole in the wall. Yeah. Which I'm not really. Oh, she wrapped him up or something. I can't remember what she did with him or whatever. I don't know. I think she wrapped him. I was expecting Maybe she her. she cut off his balls. I don't know. I was expecting her to like cut his hand off for hitting her or something. You know what I mean? Because like balls were chopped off for didn't they? Didn't they chop his hand off? I don't remember. I don't remember either. She literally beats his head into a pulp. No, I know that. Like, he has a no head or face left. She Work. got her anger out. Work. Um, as and she, she Yeah, as she should. I'm going to change my rating to a three because <laughs> so of the emotion her. that relationship Yeah, I, I do agree out. with, like, the writing was a bit confusing. And there was definitely But now definitely that I know it was a screenplay, ties, I actually, it makes like... makes sense, yeah. Yeah, my feelings have changed towards it. Because yeah. this whole time, I was like, this is a novel that feels like I'm reading a... Like I'm reading a script. A script. Yeah. 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 Um, and you're like, holy shit, I am. Yeah. <laughs> now that I know that I'm like, oh. He presented it to like HBO and they're like, fuck off. And he went, you know what? Fuck. But it would have made it such a yeah, good oh, yeah. show like or, a a Nef or and Like a Netflix movie, short like series. A three, yes. Like a three yeah. episode, one hour, a haunting of Hill House. Yeah. Like you're telling me the second haunting of Hill House, garbage. Mm. You're telling me they accepted that, whatever it was called, haunting of Adelaide, whatever, whatever it was called. You're thinking of a different book, but that's okay. No, no, no. It was no, I know you, The I Haunting know. of Hill House, and then they made the sequel that wasn't the Hill House no, specifically. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, that one was garbage. They accepted that and not this? Come on. Weird. He needs to re-go to Netflix because, Weird. I mean, yeah, they're family anyway. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. Damn. Writers are on strike. As they should be. Um, <laughs> actors are going on strike. There's a lot of tea Damn. Yeah, All I know shit. is that Heartstopper season two is coming out next month. You're coming to my house, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's in my calendar. I'm so excited. I don't know where everyone's going to sit. Can I, I have bring a three-seater. No, because the cats. Oh, you're right. I have a three-seater couch. I don't even know what's going on. <coughs> I forgot he had cats. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. I'm a floor girly at art. No, I know, but like I'll there's like 12 don't girls you have that comfy? Invited. Don't you have a comfy pillow? My I have 12 girls I invited in a very small living room with a three Wow, couch. so you're not going to give me the comfy pillow? I'm saying where's everyone in general going to fit? I don't give a fuck. I'm asking if I can have the comfy pillow. You can have whatever you want. Perfect. <laughs> Amazing. I think I might just get like two blow-up mattresses and a bunch of blankets and pillows. And then we can literally like boot fuck the couch out of the living room. I and then we all fuck. have to sit on each other. Oh, no. And fuck on the couch? Oh, no, not a bunch of gay lesbian girls watching a gay Stop, show. That's where I cut my nails straight. <laughs> I got plans. <laughs> Bro, look at, 
Lesbian no. These just broke like that. <laughs> oh my god, stop being such a prude. To victory. Wait, um oh, yeah. follow us. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> On Instagram, at Lude Literature, Twitter, at Lude underscore Literature, where we have been slacking. Yeah. Um, you can also follow us on Patreon, where we uh, try our best to upload. Speaking Super of Patreon, content. we have these, these really fucking fun idea, and we really need more people to subscribe. Like, I understand not wanting to subscribe to a Patreon, because, like whatever but you you need to because yeah, our idea to. is that we want to do book inspired drinks and like surprise each other with different book inspired drinks do that for a youtube video but then get drunk off the drinks and film a podcast only yeah. for the patreon and i think that would be so fucking fun but i'm not fun. doing it for free you i know what i mean for free with you oh that's so nice You're i just so wouldn't sweet. film it yeah <laughs> anyway continue. to victory if you cannot come in her, you can come on her. Clink. This is Luke Literature, bitch. I think they're turned on right now. <laughs> <laughs>